Hey guys, what's up? It is Teresa Ribale. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will share you the fifth part of the working examples on the steel and the timber structure on tension members. So, if you are new to my my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe for more videos and to see the next part of this course. So, we have seen more examples on the previous videos if you don't see any, please go and see this that videos and come back to this this is the fifth part or the final part for the tension members on working examples example 7 an unequal angle section connected by four bolts in a single row so the bolts are connected in the single row and that is an equal angle section. So the question is determine the design tensile strength of the following angle section 200 by 100 by 50 millimeter connected with another member using four voltage as shown below. A steel grade of F is 360 and 20 millimeter diameter bolts are used and the, con the connection is connected by the shorter leg see this one and the given the given values are connected leg with this 100 millimeter and connected leg with this 200 millimeter and angle thickness 50 millimeter diameter of the bolt chain 20 millimeter number of bolts 4 and the number of rows 1 center steel 1 60 millimeter and p1 9 90 millimeter ultimate Strength of steel 360 newton per millimeter square or megapascal. Yield strength of the steel 235 newton per millimeter square or megapascal. And these are the partial safety factors. This one. These are the partial safety factors. So the required is the tensile strength of the steel angle, uh, an equal angle section. So the whole clearance is 2 millimeter and whole diameter is 22 millimeter which is 20 plus 2 20 millimeter and the gross area of the cross section equals to 100 plus 200 minus 50 50 is the thickness when the cross section is on the angle section so we have to reduce the thickness or when you subtract it from the perimeter so and multiply by 50 so the gross area equals to 4275 millimeter square and if in, other, in another case connected by a smaller leg gross area of cross section equals to 2 times 100 minus 50 times 50, 50. so the effective gross area is this one so which is the minimum from that and net area of cross section along line AA. Along line AA means this one or this. And one whole dimension. And the, this is the formula we, that we are using to calculate the net area, gross area minus gross area minus the diameter of whole times thickness and summation. This is the gross area and this is the number of folds in that row. The number of holes in that row is this the and the multiply by this so the net area should be this one and the design plastic resistance of the gross section is calculated by this one by using this formula the same to that of the previous examples more examples so area this and when we multiply by this one and sub, they divide to this the result should be the plastic the design plastic resistance of the gross section is this one and the ultimate design the ultimate the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole can be calculated as follow but first you have to check the ratio of p1 to d0 so in our case p1 is 90 and the whole diameter 22 and the ratio is 4.091 which is between 2.5 and Five. So, according to EPCS 31995, 
when the values are when the ratio between is between the 2.5 and the 5 so linear interpolation is to be used so simply you can calculate this by using calculator and for 2.5 the value should be 0 0.5 and for 4 5 the value is 0 0.7 and for 4.091 what is the value so you can easily calculate it by using uh, calculator scientific calculator so and the value is this one so you can insert the numbers on this formulas and the result is this one the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole is this and the tensile resistance NTRD is taken minimum of the design plastic resistance and the design ultimate resistance so the minimum one is the design ultimate resistance so it is 441.7 kilo newton so if you have questions on this or unclear idea please contact me on email telegram email whatsapp whatever you what that is you can uh, and if you want to work with me like this contact me and we will work collaboratively so thank you for watching this is the end part for the tension members and in the next video in the next part video i will share you more on the compression members and what the compression members are and what are the examples or the, the working examples or calculations that are in uh, compression members that the compression members uh, and but there is some difference between tension members and the compression members by the length of the calculation and the tension members the length of the the wideness of the calculations are somewhat small in the compression member it is somewhat uh, longer there are i think there are nine steps that we are using to calculate the the, the the ultimate resistance the plastic resistance of the capacity of the sections so thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and give thumbs for me so thank you for your attention i will share and i will work the if first i finish this course the, the lecture videos on the steel and timber structure and i will go to the reinforced concrete section rc1 and rc the second the third part rc2 and rc3 and i will work all these lecture videos for you thank you for watching please and please like and subscribe for more video thank you